Well, hello. So today we have a compressor. It's a Bob compressor, FK40. Of course, uh, what I'm going to do today is also uh, um, is the same for the FK50. And uh, these Bob compressors are delivered to a lot of OEMs. For example, this is Ferros, but it's the same for Eberspeher, Convecta, and uh, I even saw Thermoking. And anyway, a lot of OEMs using the same compressor, and the parts are usually the same, only the cylinder head covers have the branding on them, and also the nameplate. So this is a FK40 compressor, 50, uh, 560K, so we know that K is for bus refrigeration, uh, bus air conditioning, and the problem with this one is the shaft seal is leaking, and um, the guys from the workshop brought it here because they never done this before, but neither have I. So. It will be a first for me. I have changed a lot of uh, shaft seals, but not on this type of compressors. So we have the documentation here and what needs to be done, how to take it down, empty the oil from this little um, pipe here, demount it, and how we should mount everything back together. So. Let's get on to it and um, see if we can do it, I hope so. And also here we have the new part and as you can see we have screws and uh, everything here in order to change the shaft seal. Okay, so we'll leave this for now and we will try to empty the soil. I'm not even sure why this step is necessary. I will just use a little spray cap for this. I hope uh, it will be fine. Oh, I should do something for you to see it better. Okay. So, I will try to empty the oil to this little plastic cap. So, very small quantity, only a few drops. Let me get something to wipe with. We will just use paper for this. Yeah. Okay. And that's about it. We can plug this back and put it here in its place. Now there's still something left, but I think that's okay. So, just a few drops were in this. I think maybe the problem is that it's leaking here, not through the pipe. Through the pipe I think it's normal to have a few drops but the problem is when the shaft seal is leaking here and um, it's getting oil onto everything of course this was dirty I cleaned it before starting just because as I know from the other compressors this operation must be done in a really really clean environment so that we don't get any dirt inside so we will just try to 
open the screws up. I mean, I don't know, should I get this key off? I think I should. Let me try something. But with what? Oh, it will, it will come off, out. Okay. I don't know if you have to take this out but uh, I think yes because it it's, it's, uh, sits on the outside it's not on the same level and I think when you when I will take this down if the key is not removed then I think uh, this part will hit it okay so Everything is open, it's loose, so let's take uh, all the screws out, I don't think there is a pattern here. Yeah, we can see it moving already. It's already pushing itself out. Probably there is some spring. I mean, I know there is a spring because it's here in the box and it's also shown on the drawings. Okay, so yeah, this is out. So let's see what's here. Yeah, I think these are the parts that we should... Ah, and this comes apart also. Yeah. There is quite a specific smell to this. Ah, so this comes also as a spare the all the front this piece also comes as a spare part okay So there is a little bit of wear here on the shaft, but I think it's more likely because of the front and it has nothing to do with the leakage. Okay, so let's see if we can find something wrong. So this is the 
one part yeah and we can see we have an o-ring here and this is quite flattened this should be round so i think there's this is our first problem why the shaft seal is leaking so this o-ring looks uh, flat to me can we find the new one here just to compare them yeah it's uh, wrapped in here never mind i don't want to touch these parts before changing my gloves just so that everything is uh, perfectly clean okay so that's one part that i guess it's not okay there is nothing wrong with this one i wouldn't even bother to put this in the in the shaft seal kit but anyway we have the spring which also looks fine to me i guess this spring is pressing on the whole assembly to keep everything tight together and usually here is where we should find problems I never changed the uh, on this type of compressor but from what I seen they look similar the concept is similar between more compressors so this is a really fine carbon ring and uh, this is the counterpart of it the front of the shaft seal and usually the leakage is happening between these two parts because something happens to this very fine surface and uh, leaks appear so all the pressure and everything it's uh, really held in place by these two very fine surfaces in combination with oil and pressed together they are achieving a seal against the refrigerant that comes from the case of the compressor so I don't know what to say they don't look so worn to me but who knows I think in this case probably this o-ring is at fault because this is somehow closing everything together and I would think that there is yeah there is also almost no difference between the surfaces yeah so this is not closing I think this is not closing against the shaft and this is why we have leaks so probably you are thinking why uh, why we are not replacing only the o-ring but uh, it's just a presumption could be very well that the leak is somewhere here on this surface and uh, if we are wrong then we have to take uh, apart the compressor again I will just clean the shaft a little bit to see it better we can also rotate it this is just a break 
pet cleaning fluid and uh, I'm trying to be very careful not to get it inside the compressor and also that no paper will remain in there yeah and uh, we will have to clean all this off from here because if not the new seal will not close as it should and it happened to me before so I know that there are some marks here on the shaft seal and I don't know should I address them with some really really fine sandpaper or should I just leave them I don't know I will try to show you so you can see these marks here these black ones yeah it's kind of interesting pattern yeah. so I think uh, I should clean this with something I should try at least and this circular one is uh, just from the cap so I don't think that's a problem okay so I will try to clean them a little bit and also clean this gasket here So I think now uh, it's fine and it should be clean. We managed to get out all of the parts of the gasket from these holes and uh, yeah, it looks fine to me now. Let me try to show you the shaft. Okay, so do you remember how it was? I think it looks a little bit better now. Of course, there are still some marks. And uh, I mean, you cannot feel them, but you can see them that they are there. But there's nothing I can do about them. So we just uh, have to hope that the O-ring will be closing fine and uh, there will be no problems I cannot do anything so I use the very 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 fine I think 1500 grit 
sandpaper and uh, well this is it there's nothing more I can do about it let's hope it will be fine okay so let's see what should we do next and um, before touching any of the very sensible parts I will get some new gloves so let's see what's the next step it says here that uh, if everything is down we should put the spring in with this part to the inside so let's do that of course we have a tool here and we also have new screws okay that's good so it says that uh, this part of the spring should be to the inside okay yeah and I don't know if you can see it there is I think that, that that's a little space for the spring so it won't spin yeah and it's getting locked exactly in that place so that's okay the next step is to put on the gasket and uh, put some oil on it some refrigeration oil okay so we have the gasket here yes well we can see that uh, the surface it's cleaner I don't want to touch it with my hands okay so we will just put a little bit of foil on this We will try to make this gasket a little bit softer. I think this is why we are putting oil on it, so it will absorb the imperfections better. So I think that's okay now. Yeah. Let's see if it's enough to stick it here. No. I will just put a little bit more. try to see if it will stick here okay let's hope that it will stay there Okay, so the next step is to mount the o-ring with a paste here inside it and then we can put the rings inside yeah I don't see any lubrication for 
for between the two plates that's strange but okay we will do it just like it's here maybe i will put a little bit of oil on these parts but first let's get out in the the ring and actually this is steel now the other one was aluminium or aluminum or... yeah and uh, we can already see that the o-ring it's much higher than uh, on the one that we took down so this will ensure a tightness between the shaft and uh, this one so we will just careful take this out and uh, now we should put this paste that they give gave giving us so it's silicon grease okay yeah. so it says to use uh, gloves but i think uh, gloves uh, a brush but I think we'll be just fine so how much should we put here I have no idea yeah and also they are showing us that we should put inside here no. I don't know why seems a little bit messy anyway let's do this like they say I think this should be fine I think we need to put more okay and now that my hands are dirty it's also shown on the other page that we should put a little bit of grease also also here on this seal it's a lip seal i think or how do you call it so we will put grease also here i think this is fine and now we should be mounting everything together now that my hands up are all dirty I will try to put this part here this part should engage on the spring on this part of the spring the spring is already locked from the behind so I guess this is it should I put the o-ring first yeah let's do that we will put the o-ring here yeah but it wants must push it by hand like this and now comes that part that I don't want to touch with my hands so I will just clean this a little bit and I will get a new pair of gloves so here we must take care that this side is outside as to the outside 
there's a little bezel here so we should mount that here I will try to push it a little bit okay so you can feel it uh, when it sits on the o-ring and everything gets in place okay seems to be fine and now we are left with let's see okay so yeah we already applied this here and now um, we should put this tool and try to align the two pieces okay let's see so first things first this should be on top like this and it says it here so we will put this tool inside here and I think this is why we greased it and this should align the two parts now just for my peace of mind actually there is some grease on it and also some kind of <laughs> little particles but it's uh, there is some oil on it from the factory so I don't know should I put a little bit well, it, it cannot hurt so I will just take a little bit of refrigeration oil on one of my fingers and just put a few drops on here so when the compressor starts it has a little bit of lubrication already on this ring here so it won't damage it I know it's not shown here, but with all the compressors I did until now it was the same. So I don't think this will hurt it. Okay, so we will prepare the screws. And... Let's see. Okay, so we have this part, top and this hole is on the top well let's see on the old one yeah that hole is on the top so I'm this is how it comes I'm really taking care so that everything is clean and if you have touched a little bit of dirt it will immediately show up on your hands so on the gloves on the hand on your hands you cannot see it and also fatty acids from your skin will not damage this carbon uh, ring okay so I guess this is pretty much it and you have to push this inside okay so I will just prepare a screw and uh, I will try to put them in there is quite some tension to the to the spring it's not so easy so let's try to push it until here there's quite a load on this spring let's hope that we can get at least a few spins okay this is in so we'll go to the bottom 
just to keep everything in level okay we will put another one here we will check if the gasket is okay so it didn't fall that's fine and uh, I think this is the way to do it just tighten them by a few spins I think I should move this a little bit okay and now I cannot do that one so doesn't matter I will put another screw here and we'll just do the ones that are accessible yeah slowly we will push all the screws I mean the screws will push this flange to its place so okay we are getting there there is a little bit of Screwing <laughs> to do. Okay, so now we are closed. I mean, it's uh, in the final position. So, yeah, we have to tighten them. I will just tighten them a little bit. So, actually, this is the first screw we need to tighten but for now we will just make sure that everything is on its place and it will not move Spin this a little bit. I hope I'm not doing any damage. just tighten them a little bit by hand okay so we have a torque written here 37 newton meters let's hope that my wrench is in that range yes and it's from 20 newton meters so we will just set it to 37 so this is 30 yeah and until 7 yeah okay 8 I mean we can go a little bit extra it's no problem and we will use the order from here so it's pretty much 1 2 3 4 star kind of star like pattern okay so this is the first the second we will double check them
and so on until we do both until we do all of six of them and uh, now I think we can take out the the mounting tool okay so I think we can take this out now yeah and uh, we will double check the screws and then we are pretty much done I will empty this again I don't know now this is too short okay so once again one two So I think this is it. Of course the final test will be when the compressor will go under pressure and the guys who are molting it We'll see exactly if everything is fine, but it should be. Because I hope I did everything right. We will just put this back into its place. Let's see if we have a production date. And uh, we don't. I was just curious of when this computer, when, when this was produced because the, the shaft seal has not been changed. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know, I can't uh, tell from the sensor should have at least a manufacturing date. I know, I think it's 2011, who knows. Okay, so the next thing will be for the guys in the workshop to check the oil level. And the oil, oil level is above the I don't know if you can see it, it's moving inside. It's a little bit dirty from the inside. Yeah, okay. So the guys will change the oil and uh, we will mount the compressor back. And let's hope that everything is fine. So guys, that was it for today. I don't know if you will ever encounter something like this, but this is how it's done or how it should be done. I hope it's okay. So see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, keep watching my videos. Okay, bye bye.